Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and just a quick response video if you will and shout out to James Thank you so much as always for the great content definitely check out this video uh, What he wound up finding out was that the brush assembly was Melted on two generators and he was able to get those replaced and got the machine running just fine I have a little experience in this myself and it actually is the opposite issue that James ran into Here's an example of what is going on. If you find that your brush assembly is arcing, melting, and eating th through the brush assembly very quickly, check the alignment because the alignment on the slip rings is usually where you have the issue. In this case, on this generator, I don't know if it was an ETQ or not, but you can see how the brush assembly is further forward and not all, not directly on top of the slip ring. So this brush assembly head is okay because it's making full contact but if you look at this brush assembly it's hanging over the edge here it's because this brush the slip ring assembly i got to be specific on what i say is too far forward towards the end bearing of the generator and because of that it is causing the misalignment here and the way that i was able to solve this issue is to install some spacer washers where the brush assembly is mounted. And as a result, I was able to fix the alignment issue and get the brush heads to go squarely onto the slip ring. Now I got lucky with this particular misalignment because adding the spatial washers fixed the issue. But James had the opposite problem where this brush head assembly was too far towards the outside of the machine at the end bell where this brush head had melted it was likely sitting on the edge here misaligned and the only way that you can fix it if you can fix it it's usually because the end bell here that's sandwiching the stator to the engine is not properly sitting in there and you have to tighten it up and that should hopefully fix your alignment but nine times out of ten what i found is that this brush head is not sitting on the slip ring assembly because the slip ring assembly is actually too far inward towards the rotor housing itself because it wasn't mounted properly at the factory and there's really not much you can do because once these are they're usually on there with epoxy glue and they're friction fit to the actual rotor housing if you try to move it you're likely going to crack it and then it'll be useless anyway that is the only time i would say is that you would not be able to fix an alignment issue like this if you have the opposite problem where it's sitting on the outside slip ring hanging off the edge rather than this type of scenario wanted to pass the information along james as always thank you so much i really appreciate your videos and hopefully this helps other people